Welcome to a game between Dan Warrior uh, here in blue versus XHC Dave the Brave. And you're gonna start with a spider factory, and Dave the Brave is gonna use his recon commander to jump away and plop his factory down here, I think. <laughs> okay, maybe you could do that a bit better, I think. You, if you walk down here, you can probably jump all the way across yeah you should be able to definitely so at this point you should already be sending off fleas this is a really small map so you want to scout what your opponent is doing really early uh, but yeah only a few seconds late and finally Dave the Brave manages to to m make his factory so at this point you have two mixes and two wins and Dave the Brave has nothing this looks like he's gonna go for this super mix, which is decent. It's almost two regular mixes. But yeah, it's something extra, but it's not very good. And as a response, I guess you saw the cloak factory here. Uh, you're gonna send, uh, you're gonna make venoms, and that's the right choice. Venoms are, are always good against cloakies. You can, you can struggle a bit against knights, or reavers, and Ronins, but you can still move around and outmaneuver them. And yeah, we really need Venoms to kill uh, Glaives. Um, so yeah, so finally uh, Dave has built his first mix while you're building your third. That's a bit late really. You should, again, you made this constructor, but you delay this mix. Uh, this mix should really have been uh, your uh, uh, much earlier. And also, you send a fleece here, and they're not doing anything. Like, you're not even scouting what a factor is making. So yeah, you should really be scouting these units. And I guess the units were moving kind of in a radar shadow. Like, you don't... If the commander is standing here, it's it's behind a little bump. So it won't quite see across this hill here. And the... Meanwhile, you're also losing your... You're not taking care of your... Or of your venom, you're losing that. So if you look at this bump, ugh, camera, what? Yeah, if you're, s come on, camera, what are you doing? So if you see here, there's a little bump here. So if your commanding is standing here, it might not even be able to see down the ground here. So yeah, that's a thing. That's why you couldn't see uh, uh, the enemy co coming here. And still, you're kind of slow to react here. You're losing your Venom, that's a big blow. You're still trying to build this mix, which making this calm really delayed this mix. Uh, when you scouted the factor here, you should have been prepared, prepared that this is kind of a rush build. You are in a lot of pressure, so making this calm this early was probably a mistake already. And what, since your commander is so late with his build order, because uh, he's on the, because your factory is taking a lot of metal. Yeah, you're getting really delayed. And you're gonna try to defend the low ground here. That's also kind of a mistake. Like, just retreat up to the high ground where the commander can also help. Now you're gonna lose this because you're stalling your economy so hard. You're gonna try to build a mix. Uh, okay. So, you, as you can see, a Venom can hold off Ronin's. But closing to this and actually killing the Ronins can be hard. So yeah, Ronins can be hard to deal with. A Lotus turret or the commander ready to jump in is pretty good. Like here you're catching a Ronin, you might be able to kill it. So that's decent. But the commander is already here because it's such a forward redeploy. It, he's gonna chase away the Venoms. Uh, and at this point you're jumping into this, that's risky. If you can't stun the commander, you might just die here. Uh, it depends, and you lose one Venom because yeah, it's hard to dodge while doing all this other stuff. Um, and you get a Venom out, but now you're on a timer because you have so little energy that you might just run out of energy. And your commander is low. Okay, yeah, this Ven Widow is going to be useless. And you jump just in time, but you have no follow-up to kill his commander because your commander is too low. And this stun is going to do basically nothing. You could save that Widow now, would be the time. No? Okay, you lose the Widow too. Uh, that was unnecessary as well. Yep, 
Yeah, and at this point, it's kind of over, I guess. You could have saved the Widow, maybe. I guess Fleece, like, as long as the commander is stunned, uh, the Fleece can do something, but uh, if you can't keep it stunned, like, if you had had... If you kept the Widow alive, maybe, you could go in and stun it again and chase away these units with Fleece. And maybe even go in with your commander when it had some repaired HP. Uh, oh damn, you're taking a lot of hits. At this point, every every Rocco shot counts. I like, yeah. Meanwhile, this is what you can do with fleas if you're paying a lot of attention and have the micro. You're jumping in. Oh, that's a death, that's death sentence. I guess you're just giving in now. Yeah, so, if you look at the metal produced here, you were ahead the whole game, basically. Uh, yeah, it was only in the end that uh, Dave Bray managed to get back in the metal game. Uh, you stole your economy early on, like, you finished these three mexes ASAP. You made this useless con, did it do anything? It, I don't think it did anything. It repaired your commander, I guess. Which was not much use. Like, and you lost the first Venom here, that's also, like, yeah, everything counts if the enemy's doing this. This is kind of a rush build. Like, he only went here for the super mechs, which is not even worth two regular mechs. So, yeah, you should be far ahead if you just build your three mechs. Also, yeah, keep track of the enemy factory. Like, what is the enemy factory doing? This is a four-way deploy. You're gonna expect pressure soon. You wanna know exactly what the enemy is building. Place a flea here. Yeah, and you can see exactly what the enemy is doing. Okay, the enemy comes with a glaive and try to chase the gla the flea away. Yeah, just uh, move the flea away if you have the attention and run it away. If the glaive chases it, good. Then it's not coming to your base. Place a flea here. That's one flea. You see everything if you place it on here or here. Uh, also, yeah, consider the radar shadow. Always play with radar on because if you had built a radar earlier and was installing your energy, uh, I mean, yeah, stalling your metal so hard earlier game, yeah, you would have gotten it. Like, this was not even a good start by Dave the Brave jumping into the water and then having to walk up here and build a cloak pad factory. I'm pretty sure if you jump from, you can jump across this uh, distance somewhere. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can improve on this uh, in this situation. Um, yeah, don't build that con that early if you see this much pressure. Try to counter pressure instead. Like, try if you approach this factory with uh, your venoms. If you get two venoms up, you could easily have two three venoms up here instead of the con and losing that venom. You're pressing your factory, and this enemy has to respond. And if the enemy only has glaives and ronas, you can close the distance and start damaging the factory. Maybe even have a, a few fleas, like just yes, five fleas here, pressuring the factory while your venoms are around. Yeah, that's going to put a lot of damage on this factory. That's going to force either him to commit all his units and probably sacrifice his glaives to your venoms, or he's going to pull his commander back, and your commander is, his commander is not uh, advancing anymore. And if you get enough energy, you can make a Widow, and yeah, there's a lot of potential here uh, that you can use. So yeah, good luck and have fun.